Well, turn me up. All right, so we got the lovely Miss Bianca in here with me. How you doing, love? Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. How 2022 been treating you so far? Man, I'm gonna laugh. It's been great. It's been great. Let me stop. <laughs> it has been great. Look, it started off really good. I ain't complaining. Can't complain. Start off a little slow. It's been starting off a little slow. Mm -hmm. You know, when them taxes hit, <laughs> well, that's when the year really starts. You know what I mean? Facts, facts. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna jump straight into it. Um, tell me how you get in, got into bartending. Well, you know, to make this story a little short, you know, I've been doing it for about like five years now. I really started bartending as soon as I moved to Indianapolis. I'm from Chicago, matter of fact. <laughs> Born and raised, you know. So I ended up moving to Indianapolis. I uh, thought it was a great way, which it is, to meet people in the area. Especially if it's like you're trying to network, do things in the city or whatever, or even just on your own entrepreneurship. I feel like it's really a great way if you're not from somewhere to intertwine with the right people mm -hmm. and just, you know, meet people. So, you know, I took the path of going to um, Midwest Bartender School. So I, because like I said, I'm not a drinker. But I know how to make a drink. Mm. You know what I mean? So, Ironic you know, enough. <laughs> period. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I always tell people either way is your choice or whatnot. It's definitely different paths and you can still always bartend. You don't have to go down the path of a school. But if you feel like you need help or you're not really a drinker like me and you want to know what goes into what drink and how to make what to be more proficient, a little bit more quicker. And also, you know, resumes count. Just because it's the bar, I be telling people, just because it's the bar. I mean, it's certain places, clubs, places that are a little bit more lenient because you know the people. But at the end of the day, it's still a job. So, a resume is a resume. Mm -hmm. so Professionalism how, always goes across the board. Now. So, how long you been in uh, Naptown? About five years now. Mm -hmm. So, you moved down here and straight went to bartending? Straight went in. You know, I work and by day, by trade, I work in healthcare. You know, so... My line of business doesn't really have me to actively meet a lot of different people, you know, mm -hmm. especially the people that I work with, you know, shout out to them, but <laughs> well, they're not doing all of that. So this that was a greater way for me to meet people my age and, you know, be able to get out here and not just, because I'm a club person, but I'm not really a club person, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So. so how long did it take you to get your license? Really, it's actually pretty quick, honestly. Um, depending on what type of time frame you have, I work through the daytime, so I was taking evening courses, so it took like maybe like two, three weeks or whatever. That's what I'm saying. It's not really a long course at all if you was to go down the path of going to school. But like I said, if you didn't want to do that, you can always go online, take that safe serve test, take that license, that certificate, I mean, downtown <laughs> and get you a license so i mean you know it's it's so many different paths if you kind of already have a little savvy and mm -hmm. understanding about it so that's what's up all right so what club you at right now i work at club onyx i don't bartend at club onyx all right so have um uh, have you ever worked like a record club um, at a regular like, night club. Like, what made you choose a strip club versus a regular club? Well, honestly, Onyx is more like a nightclub slash strip club. You get what I'm saying? Like, the whole vibe is not like what you would think of a gentleman's club. I've been to a gentleman's club before. I've been to all different types of clubs or so whatever. But um, this would be my first time switching over into that type of scene. But being in there for the time, little bit of time I've been in there, it's definitely, definitely the same as the nightclub. <laughs> same type of vibe. It's the same vibe. It's the same vibe, but just a little bit of extra different things in there because it is a gentleman's club. But it's definitely more like a nightclub vibe. And like I said, I've worked in different lines where it's been nightclubs, uh, private events, um, banquets, weddings, um, you know, just different places. So it's like when you kind of get your feet in the door, you start venturing off into all different type of arrays of bartending and then you kind of figure out what is your niche. Yeah. You know, where is it where you like, you meet the most people, you love what you're doing and you obviously make the most money because it's really just a way for you to obtain a better, you know, residual, I feel like, you know, type of a uh, lifestyle so that you can kind of build to whatever it is that you want to do for sure all right so what's the biggest misconception you get while bartending that you know we kind of like are more like 
out there just you know every night you know we at the nightclub you know some people maybe seem like all oh, they're not really that settled down she's always outside because you know after a while like it's like you kind of hear that a lot but you know um like I said, everyone's in there for their own purpose, their own reason. You can't, like, everybody's not the same. Mm -hmm. There's people in there with families. There's people in there that got their own businesses, and they're really using this side money to, like, help finance their business. You get what I'm saying? So, like, you don't really know till you get into the, the, to the atmosphere to, like, see how these people really are, what the behind the scenes, what they're really yeah. doing it for. You know what I'm saying? So... Or just knowing who you're dealing with, you get what I'm saying? You can't judge a book, every book by its cover, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, like I said, we all have our purposes and our reasons why we're in there. Some people just love the nightlife and they like to make money. If they're going to go out, they mm -hmm. rather make money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. All right, so what's the, what was the hiring process like at Onyx? Did they have the interview or they yeah. brought you on? Yeah, that's what I was telling, like, even though it's like a bar or a nightclub, and you think, oh, it's more fun, everybody more chillaxed, or, you know, the atmosphere like that, it's still a job, you still have to come professional, you still have to come, it's best to come with a resume, so people can actually have a background on you, look you up if they weren't interested, have some type of, uh, some place, some type of, you know, um, listing of people they can call just to like, if they want to inquire about your previous background or whatnot, it's just always good to come professional. Like I said, I came that way. The interview was that way. Anytime you interview with anybody, they're always going to ask you a set of basic drinks that, you know, you will learn anyways, but like, you know, you, they just want to see how proficient you are with just mm -hmm. the basics or whatever. Because everything else, honestly, I feel like you learn as you are a bartender, you work in these different places, you're going to learn it. Or whatever, but the basics is pretty much what they kind of test you on, and your speed, and your speed. Yeah. All right, so um, working at a nightclub, a dance club, a gentleman club, have you ever been tempted to dance? No, nah, it gotta be in your spirit. I think I'm just like, <laughs> I know that nobody wants to see my. No, I don't got no red. <laughs> I don't got no red. You know, one half of me do, one half of me don't, and got no rhythm. <laughs> but, um, now nah, I just feel like that's something you got to kind of want to do. I know a lot of the times, like, since I've been working in there, a lot of the times they ask, like, oh, was you previously a dancer? Because sometimes they, a lot of times, sometimes dancers will retire from dancing. But due to the fact that, you know, they make the money, they got a, a clientele of people that come in and see them and stuff like that. They just don't want to dance anymore. They might be a waitress or they might end up being a bartender, mm -hmm. which I said, they're right choice, you know. Some people, you know, they do it for a purpose. They do it for a reason or they like what they're doing or where they're at. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They just might not like the position. But it's just like moving up anywhere else. You move around in the company. So what's the difference <laughs> between a waitress and a bartender? Uh, well, you know, a waitress on the floor. A bartender, we don't leave from behind that Alright, so y'all behind it all night? <laughs> yeah, we behind it all night. Okay. Alright, so did you ever travel and bartend before you moved here, or? Um, well, sometimes I'll go home in Chicago and bartend. I was working this past summer at um, Oceans, which was my first time working. That was my first time working in the Gentleman's Club or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was working as a bartender there, um... On the weekends and like one day throughout the weekday, but that was just so I could still be at home, see the people you know I miss all the time, you know what I'm saying, and still kind of be in that same scene that I am and still make my residual income because it's like you know that's just what I like to do. I, I'm good at bartending, I like doing it, and people like you know my work, rather where I'm at, you know what I'm saying. So you know I just like you know it was just a, it was a really good move for me to do this summer, so I did that. <laughs> How about that bag. Yeah. And I do have people that hit me up on Instagram. Like, I had two people hit me up recently and asked me to do, you know, private events that they're having or whatever as bartender or whatever. So, like, I feel like marketing myself on Instagram, even though it's just, I don't really market myself as a bartender that much. But due to the fact that some of them people may have come to the club just because they see that I posted up on Be There or whatever. And they see me behind the bar, they're kind of interested in they, you know, they love the vibe. They like yeah. the energy. So, they like, okay, I want this at my event. So, like I said, it's all about how you market yourself because you never know what doors it can open for you. You never know. That's facts. All right, so what's the craziest request you got from a customer? The craziest request? <laughs> uh, well, let me say craziest request. I know you ain't heard some crazy stuff out here. <laughs> I mean, I have people ask me for stuff that I didn't told them not there already. You know, like I'm gonna make it, make make it, make it happen. It's not gonna happen. Um, I done had, 
I mean, I did have recently this past weekend if that counts, a lady came and asked me, did I have salt? No, I mean, I mean, I know certain clubs got salt, but then I know certain dark clubs. I ain't never really asked for no salt. I don't know if that's a thing, but I just, we didn't have no salt. And she just was so mad, like, y'all don't got no salt? We ain't got no salt. <laughs> I'm just like, we ain't got no salt. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you know, but I've had, sometimes people will come in and ask me for drinks that, you know, like, even at different places I work. I got people that come in, they like to have a specific drink, like they like old fashions or something like that. Mm -hmm. Every place I work at don't have bitters and stuff like that to build old fashions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I will have people that ask me stuff that might seem a little strange, but I just feel like that's their drink of choice. And, you know, depending on where I'm working at, we might have it, we might not. You know? It just depends. It just depends. All right, so do you think bartenders make as much as the dancers? That is the ongoing battle. I mean... Shit, on a good night, yeah. I mean, especially like working in like where I'm working at, like mm -hmm. in Onyx do that. We can get tips from customers. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, we, I mean, obviously, the for drinks, but I mean, like if they want to throw money over the bar at us, you know, they can do that. So in, a, in at the end of the day, we really can walk out of here with just as much if it's a really good night. Yeah. You know? All right. So what's some do's and don'ts for a customer? Please don't come up to the bar after you've been in line for two hours, okay, <laughs> while you crying and complaining. I've been waiting for so long, and then when I ask you what you want to drink, you be like, um, what y'all got? <laughs> that makes us so mad. Or if we tell you we don't have something, and you ask us for exactly what we told you we don't have. Yeah. Okay, so it's like... You know, those are pet peeves of, our, of a bartender, especially when we're trying to make, like, hurry up and, you know, and don't get drinks for the people behind you neither, okay? Let them, they need to wait in line like you did, okay? Because when I made your drink and dropped your drink, don't come back and be like, oh, let me add on two Ciroc to, no, they can add on two Ciroc to Hennessy's when it's their turn, period, yeah. okay? You gonna pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay? Not on duty. All right, so you kind of say your pet peeves and shit. If there was one thing about the club you can change, what would it be? Mm. What would it be? Or you just like your how it's going for you? I mean, I like the way it's going for real, for real. Like, I don't really have any problems, like, where it's like I want to change anything or whatever. Um, no, no. So, what's the most requested drink you probably make? You got a specialty or anything like that? No, we like we do say Hennessy, Don Julio, Resposado. <laughs> the straights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, you gonna get your blue motherfucker Long Island stuck on the beaches all day. You know what I'm saying? Those mm -hmm. type of people. But like, yeah, where I'm at right now, them they doubling it up, tripling it up. Even though we not supposed to triple, so don't ask us to do that. It's not a list. All right, so being a bartender, you having the drinks and shit like that. Do you also drink yourself or you kind of like be sober? Or I'm not a drinker, so no. I feel like I want to be more co coherent. I need to be on point. I need to be moving. I don't need to be drunk. You know what I'm saying? It's not really professional and it's not legal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no. You know, I feel like after after the club, I mean, after the night is over, if I want to have a drink, two or three, four, it's on me. You know what I'm saying? But before then, no. I'm straight sober. That's what's up. Definitely gotta be sober dealing with them people drinks because they already tow up. So. For that money, you don't want to be off your square when you're dealing with some money. You know, you always want to be on point. All right, so on the next segment, we was called either or. I'm gonna say two things and you give me the answer that fits your personality. Okay. All right, so would you rather be feared or loved? Loved. Why you say love? Cause I mean, love is so hard to like come by. So if you have, if it's genuine love that I'm getting, yeah, I would love to have genuine love or whatever and feel it all the time. I would. Mm -hmm. I'm not really one of the people that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> L.A. or Miami? I just went to Miami. Okay, shout out to my doctor. No, nah, but I just went to Miami. It was cool. I love the water. Okay, so that's really hard because I've never been to LA and I'm a hippie by like my spirit. 
So like that's like hard because I know I'm probably gonna fall in love with mm -hmm. it if I go. If you love the water, it's yeah. after the water it too. So. But I love Florida though, and I've been to Miami. So right now I'm just pick Miami off the strength. But don't get it twisted. I really probably am a LA at heart though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Nikes or Adidas? Nikes. I see you got some <laughs> on your feet right now. So. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Boy shorts or thong? Hmm. Well, now I'm going to say thong. But, you know, depending on how the booty is, you know, boy shorts might be your ch uh, choice. Because, you know, sometimes when you ain't got all that, them boy shorts kind of make you look like you got that. And they can, they can do their job. Yeah. <laughs> Soul food or seafood? See, oh shit, I said seafood because that's really, okay, yeah, seafood. I love seafood. I really do love seafood. I love soul food too. I love food, period. Like, I marry food if I could. I love food. Like, but seafood is my, my favorite. Like, I love lobster. I love shrimp. I love crab fish. boils and shit. I mean, I love crab boils. I don't like the eggs and the, yeah. the potatoes and the sauce. They can leave that. But like, yeah, I love seafood. I ain't gonna lie. I love it. All right, so I was doing my research and shit on your Instagram, and I know she had some tattoos and shit. What's the meaning behind your tattoos? Well, some of them didn't have no meaning, like, you know, <laughs> I got 12. Some of them was just like, when you get one when you young, because my first one I got, I snuck a guy when I was 16 or whatever. It's kind of like, I want another one. Oh, mm -hmm. My friend's going to get a tattoo. I'll get a tattoo, too. Um, I am part Chinese, so a lot of, I got a lot of Oriental tattoos on me or whatever. I got wisdom on my back. I mean, on the back of my neck, which a lot of people be like, hey, you know, that's what it means. It means wisdom. <laughs> and then I got a geisha on my side that's not finished because I want to, like, do, like, more of a, like, uh, um, like an Asian, like more of a, like an Asian background, like with the dojo, and I, I kind of want to finish. It's gonna be like a side piece, but mm -hmm. yeah. So that's gonna more symbolize a little bit more. Um, the other ones I got, they're just really cute. They're just for like you know. So would you say the one that's on your leg, the most meaningful tattoo you got? Yeah, honestly, yep. Yeah. Right now that is, yeah. But it's not finished, but it's gonna be nice when it's done. For sure. All right, so tell us what's next for you. What you got planned? Um. Well. I can't let the cat out the bag. Ah, know? shit, she got but some big shit for us, yeah. <laughs> I never, ever, ever go without something, something for the year. You get what I'm saying? But definitely it is something coming up for me or whatever. I've um, been doing a lot of classwork right now. I'm kind of, I'm trying to get my, well, I am, and I'm trying. I'm getting my realtor's license. So, you know, that's a big thing for me. But I do got something for everyone else. It is in the making. I think this summer is going to be the time when I kind of drop that or whatever. But stay tuned. Y'all going to fuck with it. And I mean, it's about time I drop something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's about time. I've been playing too long or whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to give y'all something this summer, though. All right. So, leave the people where they can follow you at and tune in with you. Well, as you know, you can always follow me on Instagram. Queen BB, which has a period after every letter, okay? Seriously, yeah, I did that. <laughs> and I'm on Facebook as well, Bianca Jone or whatever, Bianca and then J-O-N-E-E, -E, you can follow me there. I am somewhat on Facebook, but like for my older group, yes, I am on Facebook. Um, but those are the two main ways you can reach me. Um, yeah, and, you know, stay tuned for what I got. Instagram is the best way, though, so definitely follow my Instagram. Definitely follow my Instagram. I always got stuff, updates, everything I'm doing is always on Instagram. Well, turn me up.